Hi everyone, welcome to Dark Jedi Plays, and may the fourth be with you. Uh, we're going to be taking a quick look here at three different games today, uh, all from the Star Wars universe. I'm going to go through them chronologically. So we're going to start with uh, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, which uh, for a game I think it was 2002 is uh, kind of fantastic um, and was one of the first games apart from um, Dark Forces I remember really playing through multiple times and despite the fact that I was quite bad at it because I was quite young at the time um, I didn't really, I, I had no reason not to enjoy the game, it was absolutely fantastic now um, I have got this playing in 1080p, there are a few bugs with it playing in 1080p like none of the um, uh, none of the cutscenes and things load at 1080p. Don't know why they just show a white screen. I imagine it's because they're not formatted for this. They're always formatted for four three screens because it was that old. Um, so we're going to load into a game. Um, I've got a save game on there from one of my very very old ones. I always back up my saves uh, from very old from Bespin, I believe it was. So we're going to go into that. Yes, here we go. Bespin platform. Um, not too sure if I'm a Jedi at this point in the game, but in the next couple of games you will see some of that. So we're going to load the game. Apologise for the white screen. And here we go, I am a Jedi. So we zappy zappy zappy. That's all fine. So, we will search for Desan, engage hostile forces in the area. We're just going to run through this. There are some mods for this game. Hello. And this is why I love this game. Um, you can just do anything you like. You are a Jedi, technically. Karl Katarn. There we go. Oh, I just threw my, my lightsaber. There was... Um, decapitation and things in this game as well which is interesting for a Star Wars game this is obviously before Disney took over oh hey look I can just go whoop uh, there's a block button but I don't remember what it is let me see if I can find it hold on um, force powers okay I'm trying to remember all these third person is P so auto blocks, which is quite nice. You can just stare at people and go, hey. Oh, I died. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played the game. Um, that's fine, let's carry on again then. I saw you this time. Oh, we just sliced him apart. Can I have your lightsaber, please? No, okay, that's fine. Right, we'll go on. Oh, he's walking at a weird angle there. So you're not immune when you've got the lightsaber, you can still be hit, um, but it's rare. There we go, nice. Pick up that stuff. There's nothing else I can take there, that's fine. Oh, that door's not open. Where did you come from? How did you get through that door? Oops, controls are a little bit wonky. I believe there's a spawner somewhere in this. You can jump really high though, so that's fine. Come on in, come get me. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. Ah, oh, I missed him. There we go. I think that's force heal I'm doing there. I don't know how to change my force power yet, I will find out in a second. I don't know how I got him there. My, my lightsaber gone a completely different direction. Okay, let's have a quick look around. So yeah, 2002, this game wasn't too bad, I don't think. Oh my word, there's three of them. I want to back away. Uh, come on in. Don't know why my lightsaber even went out then. I don't know if you can direct where you want them to go. I don't think there is a way. Oh, how did I miss them? There we go. So there's a whole backstory as to what you're doing on this planet. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Ow, that hurt me. Let me uh, force heal. So I think you've got force in the bottom right corner there, which slowly generates over time. Which of course is not how that works. We all know it's from midichlorians now. <clears throat> anyway. Never forgive. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, I've got a thingy there. What's that? Doesn't seem to do anything. There 
he eventually got it. These things are mean! Haha, <laughs> off you go. Right. Over here. I literally can't remember what the mission is for this one. I'm just going to go around and slice some dudes up. Come on. C-3PO! Who doesn't sound like C-3PO? So, Z. Yeah, let's have a look at some Z. Some lightning. Oh, that's not a, a door I can go through. Where do I have to go then? Must be through these miney things. R2! R2, no! <laughs> Who are you laughing at, chump? I'm just gonna swing. <laughs> I lightened you to death. Toasty! Alright, let's carry on. One of the things you can do with this game is just run into people and they eventually die. <laughs> Always made me laugh. Hey, have a lightsaber. Have this lightsaber instead. Not a one-hit kill, I'm impressed. Boom. Well, anyway, that's um, Jedi Knight and Jedi Artcast. We're going to switch over to the second game uh, and we'll see what that game's like. I'm not going to tell you what it is first. You'll have to watch the video to find out. Welcome back. Uh, we're now going to be playing a little bit of um, something slightly uh, more modern. I can't remember the exact year. I'll put it down in the description below as to what year this is. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Now, I remember playing the very first one and thinking, ah, oh, this is rubbish. Why would you want to play this game? It's, it's you know, you're, you're not powered enough and so on and so forth. With this game, you start overpowered. Um, and I love it. Now, this is a 100% save game, um, and you can select any level you like. There's also various other things with extras and things that you've got, um, so you can do go into the cinematics and things with all sorts of things. I'm going to give you some spoilers here. You play as a clone, uh, so you start on Kamino in the very first level. You can see it in the background there. Um, and you are the clone of Starkiller from the first game, uh, who still has the memories of him as well, and he eventually obviously turns against Darth Vader and things, blah, 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 blah. Um, this game is old enough now that I don't worry about um, against those, but that's fine. We are going to pop on to a different level. Let's go to, I mean, Dagobah's a pretty good level. We'll go to Dagobah. That's fine. Uh, we'll just go for easy. One of the things I prefer about these games when I'm actually playing them is I don't care about easy, normal difficulties and so on and so forth. I always want to play as a complete badass in these games, so I go for the easy mode. I'm going to skip this because uh, it really doesn't matter for the purposes of what we're doing here. I'm hoping this isn't being picked up on the recording as well, but there is flickering and tearing and all sorts on this. On the recording, I think it will miss most of that, um, but you'll get the idea if I'm playing it. Oh look, a ship on Dagobah. Maybe we'll lift it up. So that's your main character, Starkiller there. It's pretty cool. Um, he's also pretty cheesy as well. <laughs> Uh, he has actually appeared in the original, in the official Star Wars kind of media. Um, I believe he was in... Um, oh, it's going to bug me now. He was in something live action, I don't remember what. But, this is you. You have lightsabers. And one of the things you can do with lightsabers is you can actually, if I go into the wrong thing there, if I go into the lightsabers option here, is you can assign different crystals for different lightsabers. So, for example, if you want to go for uh, a Fury one, you can set that on your main one, and then you can go for, say, Life Drain, your secondary, uh, and you can do things. Um, so, you can also change costumes. So, I'm wearing the flight suit at the moment, but you can wear things like the Hero's Armour, um, the Dark Apprentice's robe, so you can look like you know, Darth Vader without his... Um, uh, without his helmet on, oh, of course, it's going to take me back here again. So in cutscenes, he doesn't appear in his outfit that you've chosen. He's always in his um, standard one, his apprentice robes. But there we go. I quite like that one. That's pretty cool. Boop. There we go. So if you remember from the, um... come on. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got grey eyes. I forgot that. 
So we've got different colour lightsabers now. That's fine. You've also got loads of different force powers and things. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. I just want to get into some combat, ideally. Pretty sure there's combat on Dagobah. If not, I'll go to another level. Just try and get there as fast as I can. Lots of QTEs in this game, which isn't terrible, necessarily. It's not ideal, though, if you don't like those sort of things. Lots of story going on here. I'm not going to bother going through it too much. You are uh, rebelling against your, your dad, Darth Vader, basically. Proxy? Master? I thought, I thought you were, were dead. dead! Oh, it's a very long story. Captain Eclipse and Senator Organa... Juno, where's... Juno. I can't skip this. <laughs> I don't know. The Imperials must have taken her towards Deck 7. So Juno is your love interest from the first one, who you don't really attack, get on with, General. but you do love her. It's a bit complex. Master. Be careful. Yeah, alright. Django. What's the situation, General? A bounty hunter is taking Juno to the hangar bay. We've lost all communication with that section of the ship. It appears this bounty hunter is accompanied by some sort of elite Imperial forces. I'm on it. So even though this is a, a little bit further in the actual game, you're still being taught how to do things. It does tutorialise you heavy in this game, but that's fine to a certain extent. I, you know, it is designed for a younger audience, I guess, because it is. Uh, it was one of LucasArts' last kind of proper games. Oh, hello. Is it that way? No. Out of there. Come on. On loop, thank you. And again, there's no way to turn these things off in the game. Kill those battle droid things. Oh, my word, you can do all sorts of spinny things. Uh, excuse me, get off. Hey. I see you there. Oh my word, hello. They're all crawling down from the ceiling. And for someone with um, arachnophobia, this uh, this kind of level does do my head in a little bit, but it's fine. Loads of them. Oh, we get flashbacks. And he's going to tell me to do repulse now, which is fine. I can't remember how to do it necessarily, but the game will tell me. So, L, C, and B. And you hold, and you go, boom, boom, and everything dies. Except nothing dies, because there's too many of the damn things. Just want to get this over here, get off you. That's not what I wanted. I wanted no, not you either. I want the ah, I want that canister. Come on. There we go. Get out of this room finally. That was annoying. Terror droids before Vader's developing them on Kamino. Warn your men. Right, so the bottom left there, you'll see I've got a little uh, kind of symbol which is glowing at the moment. That is my Fury Meter, which I will show you in just a few seconds because it's kind of cool. And then we'll switch over to a different game. Oh, there's a big one there. Whoop, I didn't get him. Wow, okay, we'll carry on. Something's on fire. Wow, that was a big explosion. Let's go see what that is. Always go towards explosions. That's just good life advice. Hello. Juno. Juno. So there is your love interest and targets for this mission. Oh. -ho.
<laughs> I remember these guys. They only really appear in this game. Right, let's fury mode these guys. That's him dead anyway. But fury mode on, you just become an absolute god. Literally nothing can hurt you, you are just invincible. I've just decapitated that bloke and thrown him away. Bye bye. Uh, I need a Anister thing. Ah, we take this one here. All the way over there. We have a certain range on this. I'm not sure if we'll get it all the way over there. Oh, we did. almost did. We've still got Fury Mode on, so it's not targeting properly. That door's now open. Oh god, I got grabbed. Fury Mode is still on, I believe, so I'm just absolutely caning these guys. I think he's dead, no? Yeah, he's dead now. Okay, that's fine. Another one of those done. Ah! I'll just take care of this guy. Boom! You can juggle them. You can do all sorts of different things to these guys, and to the other troopers as well. Even the regular ones. There's a lot you can do. There's all sorts of different combos to unlock. Uh, which the game does tell you about, which is nice. Remember, max level character. Oh, it's Boba Fett. Hello. You're a good guy in the future. In the future. Ooh, moody. I have glass in front of me. I can't do anything. But I can do this. Oh, what did you come from? Oh, I've been shocked. Ah, no. Okay, let's dismember you now. Come on in. Oh, I've got shocked again. Ah! Hey. Okay, are we done? No, you're still there. You just dash away and they're lying. It's been a while since I played these guys. Quick team, quick time, quick time. There we go. So level design is, is okay. Uh, we've never overly enamoured with this one. It's just a lot of running around. That's where I'm going. Hey, what could have done this? Where do I go from here? Up oh, there. So it's proper first, um, the point-to-point -point Star Wars game that's been around for a while in this case. There's a, a long gap since, obviously, um, well, before first Force Unleashed 1, there was a lot of uh, just nothing in Star Wars world. Or universe, I should say. But I thought this was good. Um, it was a good first kind of entry. Oh, hang on, come on, come on. There we go. It was far from perfect, there was a lot of bugs uh, when the game first came out for me. Um, I remember playing it on 360 and it was just, not garbage, but there was certainly a lot of problems with it where you know, it crashed to desktops and things on, well, I say crash desktop, crashed to blades as they were back then on the 360. There we go. Uh, loads of levels that weren't loading properly.
Can we get through there? Nope, I have to jump over. Grip. I'm sure that's going to hurt the engine somewhat. This is my ship. I don't know if that thing's on my side or not. I'm just going to slash it up anyway. There we go. QTEs again. They're not always the most obvious thing as to what you need to do. Like I missed the B there, for example, because I missed it. Come on in. X, 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 X. Uh, y. Oh, it's General Grievous. It's not General Grievous, but it is General Grievous. I forgot about that. Smash. But, I mean, graphically, the game is fine. I have no issues with it. I mean, it, it, despite the fact that this is over 10 years old now, um, I have no problems with it at all. So we all know who that is. No! Coda, and Juno's gone. gone. Send the order to attack or I will go without you. Already done. I've told the Alliance we have just this one chance to strike. The fleet will converge on Camino. But you know Vader is luring you back to him. Yes, dun, dun, I know, dun. but he won't be expecting the entire Rebel fleet. Yeah, my thoughts as well. Let's hope we're right. Prepare for light speed. Okay. Spoilers there. Right, so we're going to leave that on there. Um, it's one of my favourite games of the Star Wars universe, just purely for the fact that you can be an absolute god in it. But I'm going to leave it there before you see what we do on this fight. Stay tuned for the next video game. And of course, the final game in this three-parter for May the 4th. And may the 4th be with us all is Jedi Fallen Order. Quite possibly the best Star Wars game I've ever played. And I know that's going to divide opinion, but it is my opinion. Um, very little about this game is poor. The storyline could use a little tweaking here and there, but you're introduced to a new world, a new character, a new philosophy in the game as well, um, and the new way of playing it. And it does make a big difference to how the game feels and plays with regards to that story uh, as to how you carry on with it. Now, Cal himself as the main character is kind of a blank slate and that's brilliant. You know, a bit like Cal Katarn, he was a blank slate as well back in the days. Obviously Starkiller, he had various things imprinted upon him which you had to play through the game as. Um, so he's very different in that um, regard. But Cal, Cal Kestis is you in the Star Wars universe as you would like to be. Now there are certain things, obviously limitations with that. Uh, we're gonna go in and uh, just load a journey here just to see what we can do. Now I've got some, a couple of different things here. I do play on Jedi Knight and that's absolutely fine. That's just what I'm gonna do here. Um, the one thing I love about this game and that they added in after it was first released was the ability to go through and just uh, train and do meditation challenges and things. And I really, really enjoyed that, me that uh, meta within the game. When this loads, I will show you. So, you come over to these here. Now, before we get on, uh, first of course, this game is very, very beautiful. Um, it doesn't seem to be running perfectly for me at the moment. It's probably because I'm capturing. But if we click in the right stick here and we go to meditate on one of these stones, you can see, obviously, all my skill trees and things. But you can also do the meditation training. And that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm not going to bother going through the... Um, uh, the actual game itself, by now, everyone will have played that game recently, I would have thought, and you'll probably know exactly what you think of the game yourself, the storyline and everything else as well. I'm going to go through uh, one battle grid and one combat challenge. We're going to start with the combat challenge first and show you how that works. Okay, so when they load in, um, you can see I've not really done many of these. In fact, I've done none of these. Um, I have done them on a previous save game, not this one. Uh, I am going to go... Uh, I don't like Kashyyyk necessarily... Um, I'll go Bagano. I think that's okay. You may hear my controller clicking in the background on this game because there's a lot of them. A lot of the uh, controls and things. Okay. Ah, double blade lightsaber. I forgot about that. <laughs> Been a while since I played this game, so I'm a little bit rusty. Go. 
Oh, that, I thought that was wave one and five done, but it's not. Okay, that's wave two. I lost a little bit of health there, but that's fine. I can't remember the controls. LB is blocked. Ah, too many things. Okay, this is uh, not going well. No, please don't end me. Yeah, okay, they ended me. <laughs> Let's go back to the combat challenges. That was actually quite tough. I'm surprised. Uh, let's go for... Oh, the Venator Crash is quite nice. Ilum is a beautiful level. Uh, Tomb of Kajet is nice. Alright, we'll just go for the meditation area. It's been a very long time since I've played this game. Um, probably six months or so. Getting chomped on them. Right, these guys here we have to get close to. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Come here. I can't remember what Y does. There we go. That's the first wave done of that one. Let's see if we can get through wave two. Oh, I forgot that one charged at me. Oh, God. <laughs> right, I don't remember the uh, controls to dodge, but that's fine. Uh, in fact, let's, let's go retry. I'm going to check the controls really quickly. Ooh, okay, I can't get to the controls. That's not good. Oh yeah, why was a, a harder attack, wasn't it? Oh, hello. These guys are tough. I've got no force. That's it. Of course, well-timed blocks will hurt those guys as well. All oh, the spiders, I hate the spiders. Nope, okay, I can't do that. I can't, can't handle the spiders. That's fine, we're going to go to um, quit the game here. We'll go back in and we'll do the other type of challenge, just so I can show you it. This is more just to show you what's uh, also available within the game now, because a lot of people didn't cover this, obviously, when it first came out, or when it came out with the patches and things. There's a lot of things which weren't available to, or weren't shown on YouTubers' channels. So, go to the meditation training again. That was the combat challenges. There's also the battle grid where you can create your own ones. So in this case, you can see some of the harder enemies in the game. Not that I'm ready for those, of course, um, but I can just build up my own levels and things. Okay, so create a new battle grid. You can choose where you want it to be. Um, Bragger is where you start. Uh, let's go for... I don't like that, that one. Um, the Tomb of Mictral, I think. I'm going for that one. Just changes the level in the background for you. Okay, so from here you can then say what sort of things you want. So if I go over and let's have, you can fight against yourself if you want to. Um, I'm going to go for just some stormtroopers, uh, normal ones there. Snow troopers are fine. I'll go for one, two, three, four, five of those. Um, and then let's go for, don't like the bog rats necessarily. Uh, we'll go for a security droid in the middle there. That's fine. Uh, oh, no, no, don't want to do that. I have to go back up here. You can also have things like infinite focus on yourself, infinite health, infinite block, and so on and so forth. So all enemies hostile is one thing I'm going to have on. Um, and that's fine. 
uh, <laughs> he is your your boss. Yeah, not your boss. He's your leader uh, necessarily, but that's fine. You can also have the bad guys on there. So you can have the second sister and the ninth sister, who are ridiculously hard. Um, there's all sorts of different things you can have, as you can see. You can have an imperial astromech droid. Let's stick one of them down there, and one of them down there. Why not? And let's begin training. Nice. Right, these security droids are a little bit tough. Because you can't force choke them or anything. Ah! So BD1 will now go and grab him. I like the dee 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 dee. That's really good. He's now on my side. Oh, no. Now he looks mad. Get in there. oh I'm just chopped up R2. I'm going to let the security droid go and get him. <laughs> there you go. And then... There we go. So that's that done. That is uh, Jedi Fallen Order. There is a massive storyline in there. The uh, level design is good. The storyline's okay. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's good. It's got some really interesting characters in there with some different twists and things as well. And as you can see, the actual level design is is fantastic. Like the, the artwork and everything else is just stunning. Uh, if I remember correctly, can I have to LT? There we go. Let's just get up here, show you some bigger parts of the world. Just for the base level. This is like the third level in, I believe. Um, and it is stunning inside. Like, everything is detailed. Um, I don't want to get too far in in case I get jumped by an enemy, but yeah, it is good. There's also lots of things like costumes and things. Um, if I go in here, you can see that we can change our uh, lightsaber things. That's fine, but we can also go up to customization. So we can change all of our poncho stuff here so I can be, um, you know, Nice and uh, kitted out with different different things. I can also change uh, the outfit that I'm wearing. So I can be Guardian, I can be Bigger Crew, and so on and so forth. That's the actual underlying thing. That's fine. Uh, you can also change how BD1 looks. Uh, so you can have him as being kind of Stygian Prime, which is interesting. Uh, the Yavin Prime, which is probably my favourites. Uh, although I do like the, uh, the, the Zigag Wave. And then obviously your ship as well, called the Mantis, which looks to me like something out of uh, Rebels. Um, and again, you can have this be Republic, um, or you can be Aphelion, which is quite nice. Charisma Starfighters are quite nice as well. That reminds me of the um, Amidala ship from Phantom Menace, which does get destroyed. Um, and all sorts of other things as well. All of these premium content ones are now freely available if you do go by the game today. Race is quite nice too, but there we go. There's lots of different customization you can do. Oh, hello. We've, we've found someone. Oh, God. Because I've already completed the game, I, I, I encounter various different things now. Actually, let's fight these guys. He's quick, huh? <laughs> you shot your dude. I want to actually target your friend. Hey, <laughs> you shot your mate. Ah, I think I'm dead. Better watch. Got it. Watch your eyes. Ah, I could have reflected that back in. There we go. Anyway, so as you go into different levels and things, you will face harder and harder enemies the more you play it, because that's a like new game plus. So when you go to places where you've already beaten enemies, you get harder level enemies there. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video at least. Um, it's been a little bit of a fun look back for me as well. I've played about 12 different Star Wars games because I do own pretty much all of them at the moment. Um, and I've picked three which I felt uh, chose different time frames from the Star Wars development life cycle. From obviously LucasArts uh, and Respawn Entertainment and various other people as well. Um, I'm keen to see where they go next with this that isn't just Battlefront 3 um, with you know loot boxes and things because I know that's coming. I'm not looking forward to it. I didn't enjoy Battlefront 1 or 2, the, the reboots of those. The original Battlefront 1 and 2, fantastic games. Um, 
I, I want EA's hands kind of off of it, <laughs> if I'm saying, if I'm speaking honestly, and I'm sure everyone else does as well. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. May the fourth be with you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys for another uh, something else soon.